Iceland is today's ultimate travel destination with its beautiful waterfalls and lagoons, volcanoes and glaciers. But what makes Iceland so special? Is it the sights, the culture, or the relaxation? It can be any of those, but it's also the geophysics behind its creation. This is the Earth on the surface, but what if we could look on the inside of our planet? If we could, we would see movements in the Earth's mantle. Much like a lava lamp, hot material closer to the core rises towards the crust and sinks again when it is cooled down. Patterns are generated within the movement, which enhances the flow of the mantle material. The mantle pulls the crust material above it, which creates plate tectonics. There are different types of plate collisions, which happen when two plates cross paths. One example is a subduction zone, which also means one plate is pushing itself over the top of the other. In this case, the crust which is underneath the other starts sinking towards the core because of its cold temperature. At the core, there are different types of materials, some being extremely hot and solid. When crust material sinks to the core, it pushes the hot material ahead, which starts to rise quickly, pulling some of the crust material along. These tiny pipes of hot rising material are called hot spot plumes. The plume hits the crust and bursts out as a volcano. The crust, however, is still moving, being pulled by its own sinking material so a volcano chain can materialize. An example of a standard hotspot like this would be Hawaii. However, what is it that actually makes Iceland so different? Iceland is located over the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, so it may seem to originate from mantles spilling out from the ridge. However, it has long been suspected that Iceland is the product of a hotspot because of its thick crust, heat, and the strong volcanic activities. But Iceland doesn't leave a hotspot track like Hawaii. As land on Earth was still Pangaea, Parts of the crust were thicker than others. If we say this is Greenland, this is America, and this is Eurasia, we can picture a hot spot hitting Greenland and then spreading out and rising to the thinner lithosphere, accumulating there. When America splits off to the west, ocean enters the gap. Some underwater volcanoes appear here. Greenland then also starts moving west, splitting itself from Eurasia, and moving over the hotspot. At this point, there is more volcanism on the eastern side of Greenland due to the hotspot. The Mid-Atlantic Ridge forms in the Atlantic Ocean where the tear between the continents had occurred. The hotspot just happens to be in the general area and spills out through the ridge. The hotspot material flows out and creates an island where the crust becomes especially thick. Because the plates are still moving apart from each other, the island splits and more individual volcanoes form in the Rift Valley of Iceland. Our conclusion is that one plume can create volcanism in two isolated regions simultaneously following this mechanism. And different from volcano chains which form in the interior of a plate, Iceland forms and grows at the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 